because different people have different perspectives. So when you stuck in one fucking perspective and all you want to think about is your own perspective, right. you're going to fuck yourself over. Unless, how? How? unless, how? Wait, 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 no, 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 how, how, how do I fuck I'm, myself over? I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk. Yeah, I want to hear uh, this. It, it, it depends on who you are. So if you're Anton, stay with everything you do and an listen to everything Anton. But if you're not Anton, consider that there, there are other perspectives out here. Because if you're not Anton, you might want to get a second opinion, whether it's a male or a woman. And that is my whole point. So yeah, Anton, you got your own perspective, but other people have their own. And other people have their own direction also. And Go when you get done fucking around and they get done blowing your back out and leaving you on the streets, for the pavement, like all of the rest of the niggas that came before you, come holler at the king, and I'm gonna show you how to get your get your bag right and get your marriage up. Cool. So, Mr. What? Lego, what is your direction? As in what? You just said you was talking about Anton's direction that he was giving out. What is the direction that you give out? Well, the direction we're talking, we were at, we we're specifically talking about contextually wise. We was talking about taking um, a perspective from a woman is bad. That's what he was saying. You're a little boy. If your woman or a woman says, hey, there's a better way to do something or consider something that you're doing or saying as this, it could be hurtful or it could be this. It could be that. Shit. Rashawn said the so this shit is what that I heard. delivery can be uh, hurtful. And I'll consider what uh, Rashawn is saying. So if I if I can consider what Anton or whoever is saying, why can't I consider what a woman is saying? So that's the reason why I'm bringing this up, because what Anton paints it out to be is if a woman says it, it's some dumb shit. If a man says it, listen, I don't agree with that. That's my whole point. So this is, this is what I heard. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just respond because I had a question. This is what I heard. And tell me if I'm wrong, Anton. I see a lot of women try to get in relationships and they try to control the man or they try to change him into something he's not or try to modify him off of his path that he already created and worked hard for and established himself on. I, when, I, when you say uh, if, if you you a little boy, if you let a, a woman come in there and change up everything that you already had going and you didn't create a momentum for and you well, prove it, the whole reason why she even attracted boy. to you or even trying to hitch to is because she see your, your, the fruit you bear. I'm looking at when the anti say that is if a man go off of his path and change and modify him find himself something that he already worked hard to become, then you a little boy. Am right. I right or wrong? Right. Well, you, are at, you, you just are, added context. You just added context to what uh what he was saying. So I just wanted to add context also. So we both are on the same page now, all three of us. That's the problem that when you just say it like that, it sounds differently, and that's how women hear it. And that's the big difference because so, now that he's so you agree that women struggle. Yeah, Anton, you just be saying shit. Um, I, I just, just wanted to say shit. something. You, you don't add, you you don't add context, you bro. You don't add context to what you're saying is what I'm saying. Because I don't I, add, I say bro, I'm mean, not I saying you're saying I'm anything saying. wrong. I'm saying you aren't adding context. I don't need to add context because I'm very direct, which is one of the reasons why you might okay. get uncomfortable. We can move on then. No, we don't move on until I'm ready to move on. The okay. thing about it is, and let me let me say it again. What's up, baby? How you doing? The thing about it is, y'all not used to somebody telling you it directly. Y'all go all the way around and y'all mix and match it, and you like to change the words to mean mean how you make it feel better and all of that other type of shit. We need to just cut straight through the bullshit and just get right to it. This is what it is. Fuck your feelings. We don't care about what you think. The guy that you want don't give a fuck about you. He's telling you what you want to hear so he can fuck you. And then he's going to send you to the curb and you worried about what it is that I'm saying. You need to be worried about what you're getting. And the reason why the reason why most people don't get the results is because they, they lean on the emotion and they don't lean on the results. The results is the only... If you ask most people that what they want, they're going to say, I want to be happiness. I want happiness. And then they're going to describe all of these things that make them feel good. The reality is that you should want to grow and growth comes from direct conversation that tells you exactly what it is that you need to hear in order to get to the results. And it comes with being uncomfortable. The minute that you start squirming, the minute that you get uncomfortable, the minute that somebody say some shit that actually make you bother, that's when you know that that motherfucker is telling you the truth and he's telling you something that's actually going to benefit you. The dude that says something to you that actually make you feel good, be careful. 
You're running into a different version of Derrick Jackson. He's going to tell you something that makes you feel better. It doesn't get the results. The results come from being uncomfortable. That's what growth comes from. Growth comes from getting dirty. Growth comes from, from suffering. Growth comes from you know getting into a space where somebody challenges what it is that you really believe, not the thing that makes you feel better. And I cut through the bullshit, and I tell people exactly what the truth is. And you know what most people say? They say, Anton, I didn't like you at first, but the reality is that when I start getting out of my emotions, I'm fucked up. And that's when you come and see me. Don't come see me if you need somebody that make you feel good. Fuck this coaching shit. Fuck all of that. Come see me when you want the truth. I'm going to give it to you straight, raw, and real. And anything outside of that, I don't give a fuck about you. I don't care about your wife. I don't care about your wife. I don't care about your kids. The only thing I care about is giving you what you came for me for. I'm not for that bullshit. And so y'all go ahead and have that cute little peachy conversation Keep that shit. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm already where I need to be. I don't need nobody. And that's why I can talk the way that I talk because I'm not controlled by anything and anyone. I made my own destiny. And anybody that's up under me and all of the women that work for me, they adore me. The, anybody that's under me know that I'm leading you to the promised land. I'm not leading you to no bullshit. I'm not going to abandon you. I'm not going to dish you. I'm always going to give you everything you need in order to be successful. And you know that I got your best interest at heart. That's the difference between me and everybody else. And I'm just telling you straight up. And the whole point of all this is, I don't know what your life is, your perspective is the way it is. Hold on, wait, Not right or not wrong. Hold on, go ahead, Ali. We gotta get these likes up. It's only 338 likes. And it's 1.4 people. Yeah, it's 1.4 people in the that's watching right now. So we got to get these likes Come up. Come on, y'all. Hit the goddamn like button, y'all. Anton just went on a... Uh, it's it's a thousand bad chases in the, in, the, in the audience. They know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Listen. They, they know what's going on. Anton, Anton was just preaching, preaching a sermon. Uh, <laughs> what I wanted to say was, Anton, he's just cutthroat, all right? And I, I, I respect that because I'm too. actually the same way. Mm -hmm. Me and my husband are the same way. We coach people with the reality. We don't do that fantasy bullshit. I'm the same way. When I come on here, though, I'm respectful. I'm not going to do all that because I just want to get a message across. But my clients is the same thing. I don't, I don't do that peachy stuff because you don't get results like that. You got to give people the truth. And even if it's going to make um, hurt their feelings, it's not about feelings. It's about what's the reality of what's going on and what the outcome would be after that. That's 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 better that way. And that's how people actually change. One of my slogans are get uncomfortable to get comfortable. You have to be like that. If you can't get uncomfortable, nothing's happening. You're just going to be stuck in a bubble, you know. So if you want to see a difference, make sure that you understanding what your issues are 